Welcome to the Annapolis Maritime Museum and Parks Volunteer Training for the Oyster Roast and Sock Burning. I am Sarah Krizak, the Volunteer Coordinator here at the Annapolis Maritime Museum. Before we get started, I just want to tell you a little bit about the museum. The museum is a nonprofit and its mission is to educate youth and adults about the area's rich maritime heritage and the ecology of the Chesapeake Bay through education programs, exhibits, and community events. The museum has two campuses. The museum or main campus, which is where the oyster roast will be held. It also has the park campus, which is across the creek where the water tower is, and even a floating classroom, the Skipjack Wilma Lee. The museum's education center serves over 10,000 students annually. And the museum also has a variety of other programs like winter lectures, special events, a concert series, and serves as a spectacular venue for the community. And it does so much more than that. So first I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the oyster roast and the events that are gonna be happening there. And then after that, we'll talk a little bit about the guests who will be here, and then we'll talk about the volunteer responsibilities. So the Oyster Roast is a little bit different than other um, events in that there's a lot going on. The event starts at noon and goes till four. From noon to two, the Eastport Oyster Boys will be playing. From noon to two, there'll be a people's choice in the Bay Room, which I'll talk about in a little bit. At two o'clock or so, everyone heads down to the bonfire for a sock burning. Um, There'll also be a poem reading during that time. After that, Naptown Brass Band will begin playing. Around 2.30, there's a little break in the music and they'll announce the People's Choice Award. Again, more about that in just a moment. At 3.15, there'll be an oyster shucking contest. Last call is around 3.45 and the event closes at 4. In addition to those scheduled activities, there's just some ongoing activities that guests can enjoy. For example, there's free boat rides to view the museum, museum's new park campus. That's across the creek and it's courtesy of electric, Annapolis Electric Boat Rentals. There'll be a diver, his name is Diver Bill, and he'll be giving demonstrations using an antique diving suit. There'll be tours of the Skipjack Wilma Lee from two to four o'clock p.m. The museum's education center will have a prize wheel where you can spin your chance to win a prize. And there'll be a local artist selling um, artwork and the gift shop will be open. And in addition to all those fun activities, there are just a couple site amenities I wanted you to know about. There are two bars for the um, event. One is on the back deck. I'll have a map of that in just a moment and then the others in the parking lot. There will also be some food trucks and some liquor tastings going on. So as I mentioned, the event lasts from noon to four. And then there's this People's Choice event, which is from noon to two o'clock p.m. This is located in the Bay Room, back deck and sidewalk. You can see it's highlighted um, in the yellow area there. So the People's Choice event is a ticketed event, and what it is is it's 10 local restaurants who all compete to serve the best oyster dish. Um, participants vote on that. That's what that People's Choice um, announcement is around two, three o'clock. And um, it is a closed event, so it's open only to VIPs, sponsors, and to ticket holders. And also the event is sold out. All right, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about our guests. So the event is for, um, it is a ticketed event. Guests five and up are, older, are required to purchase a ticket and everyone will have a wristband. If you're over the age of 21, your wristband will be hot pink. Under the 21 will be multicolored with smiley faces. And then lanyards, these are only for our people who are allowed in that people's choice area from the map before. The VIP guests will have gold, Sponsors will have yellow with the word sponsor written on it. And then the people's choice, which are the people who purchase tickets for that special event will be blue. All right, next we're gonna start talking about our volunteers um, and your responsibilities for the event. So we ask that all volunteers arrive 15 minutes before the shift begins and be at your shift location about five minutes before your shift begins. Check-in for volunteers is gonna be at the volunteer table at registration. 
and parking is located at Safe Harbor, which is formerly Mears Marina. There will be a shuttle, but it won't start till about 11.30. So if your shift begins before that, um, you'll either need to walk or find another way to get to the museum. It is a quick three or four blocks, so it doesn't take more than five minutes to walk. All right, your very exciting volunteer uniform. We ask that all volunteers wear comfortable clothing and shoes. When you check in, you will receive an apron and a name tag. We ask that you please wear your um, event name tag, not a name tag um, that you might previously have received from the museum. All right, just a couple of volunteer do's and don'ts. We do have a little rest area for all of our volunteers and um, some of our staff. So if you look up on the um, map there, up to the top, there's our barge house. It is a white building with blue shutters, and in there we'll have some snacks, there's a restroom, there's a rest area. Um, you know, if you need to take a moment, that's a great place to do that. We also ask that there's no drinking alcohol while working and or wearing your apron. And lastly, please don't sample any food at the People's Choice area. That is a ticketed event, and people did pay um, a high premium to be able to go in there, so we don't want any um, one eating food that did not purchase a ticket. All right, and Lastly, we have some frequently asked questions. So first one, what to do if someone is injured? We do have two first aid bags. One is located in the kitchen. Um, that's a picture of where it is located in the kitchen to the right. Um, we also will have one at registration. If someone sustains a major injury, please immediately call 911 and let me know. Um, my phone number is right there. It's also at the very end of the slides um, if you wanna write it down. There are some medical personnel that are gonna be at the event. Um, they're volunteering. They're not truly volunteering, but they are people that I can call if we need them. So please let me know immediately so I can help um, get those people involved and also direct the ambulance. Um, if there's any media inquiries about any events that happen at the museum, those should go directly to our president and CEO, Alice. If you're not sure how to get in contact with her, let me know and I will direct the um, media to her. Uh, next, how do I sign up for the Oyster Shucking Contest? This is an easy one. I am taking the registrations for the Oyster Shucking Contest and I will have a clipboard at registration where people can sign up. Um, if you have a suggestion on how to make the event even better, that is wonderful. We are always looking for feedback and hoping to make the event even better for next year. But if you could please send your comment to me in writing so it doesn't get lost in the shuffle of the day. Uh, my email is volunteer at amaritime.org um, and I will put it in this year's notes, um, which we always review going into the next year's oyster roast. Um, lastly, this is kind of a funny one, but if a guest needs a chair, um, we are asking that, you know, guests don't bring chairs in because it's limited areas for people to move around. But if someone really needs a chair, they have some mobility issues, you can go grab one from the offices, one of our white folding chairs. Um, not something that we wanna advertise, but if someone really needs it, we have it. All right, so that's actually the end of my presentation. The next couple slides, which were emailed to you, have directions for the individual volunteer job roles. I'm not gonna go through them because they're very lengthy um, and it's probably better to read them and then just let me know if you have any questions. But I wanted to say thank you so much for volunteering for our event. We know it'll be a great one and we could not do it without you. Thank you so much.